Welcome everyone to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. It is week 28, 2019. I'm glad that you're along with us. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to these Tuesdays and making them so great. I just have a couple of announcements and then we'll get right into your questions. Announcement number one, if you haven't yet checked out the June 2020 workshop down in Torrey, Utah with myself and co-host and Canon Explorer of Light, Bruce Dorn, go ahead and swipe over and take a look at that. I only have four spots left. Announcement number two is I just posted last week's uh, Tutorial Tuesday up on YouTube, so go ahead and swipe over and take a look at that. Let's get right into your questions. Hey Sarah, thanks for the question. I have a few thoughts on this. My first one really is business related and it's incumbent upon us as a business owner, not a photographer, but as a business owner to step out the door and to market ourselves, whether that out the door is online or, or perhaps your out the door is physically walking outside, shaking people's hands and giving your business cards. Um, some people can't do that though because they're so rural and so online is more important. Now when I say online, um, selling your images as stock to different portfolios or selling your portfolios to different agencies is a great way to make passive income, but it's entirely incumbent upon you to get out. Now for me specifically, uh, my slow times tend to be somewhere like December to March but that still means that I have to get out there and actively promote myself and that goes for all of us as well. How do you get great focus? Man, I wish this was just a, a, a one answer question, but the fact is it's not. Um, you need to know your cameras, you need to know depth of field. Um, it's not a prescriptive answer, but, but a few of the things that I will tell you is this. If you want great sharpness, great focus, whatever we call it, the first thing you have to do is get great glass and you're gonna spend money on great glass, but you're gonna notice the improvement immediately. Now, outside of the prescriptive things like getting good glass and noticing the quality difference in your images, there's also a significant portion that goes into knowing our equipment and how to use it. The beard has a life of its own, I guess, so as long as there aren't any excessive shots of tequila or anything like that going on, I suppose it'll be around for a while. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you that she's learned to accept it. Really good question here. What this comes down to for me is just watching the person that's roping, um, anticipating when they're going to release, and then start shooting and shoot until it either goes over the head or hits the dirt. And with that, friends, we wrap up week 28 of 2019's Tutorial Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your questions, and we'll see you next week.